How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have another first time react. This is Vended. Uh, basically, a band formed by the sons of Corey Taylor and Sean Crahan. Crahan? Crahan. From Slipknot. So, Slipknot Jr., basically. Uh, but this is Dead to Me. And uh, this is the official music video, but it's also a live performance. But I guess it's the official music over the live. Anyway. This is a first time reaction, so I'm really excited to get into this. Uh, I knew of Vended, though I have not heard any of the music. So this is going to be my introduction to Vended. Can I say Vended any more times? Vended is like to sell, right? Or sold, like vendor. Is that what it means? Either way, this is Dead to Me. Drop a like if you enjoy this reaction. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's go. Ow. Okay. Oh, he sounds just like his dad. Wow. Dude, what? Ooh, ooh, come on. Yes. Ooh, love it. Is that a face tattoo? Holy shit. Choke the symbol for him. That, that's cool. <laughs> This is a great song. Holy shit. This is perfect, like perfect live music. Woo! I hope they have like an official live video of this song. I'd love to listen to that. So one, two, three, four, five piece band, right? Two guitars, a bass, singer and a drummer. God damn, that was awesome. Good job. Holy shit. But I, I mean, I guess it's to be expected that he would sound like Corey, but I'm saying like, he sounds exactly like him. That, that is awesome. That is really cool. Okay, that was Vended Dead to Me. I'd love to jump into the lyrics and see what... Uh, I mean, Dead to Me, D-E-D. -E like, Vended, Vended, Dead to Me. So, I'm curious what the song's about. But let's dive in and see. Can I get some fucking peace and quiet? If I could get away from all the noise. Relatable. 
There's a fire in my head, been here chosen. Let's say this is my way of killing the perversion. You heard what I said. Interesting. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. Hey, sorry I was late. Busy killing all your traits. What? Now I'm just a comeback stuck in a stutter. Knock, knock, open up, motherfucker. Is resentment a clean slate for the discontent? Is resentment the only thing helping me through the torment? Yo, what are these lyrics? Okay. So he shows up at someone's door. Not literally, but I'm just I, like, I guess he's he's like, I'm here now. Right. Sorry, I was late. Busy killing all your traits. Now I'm just a comeback stuck in a stutter. Knock, knock, open up, motherfucker. Is resentment a clean slate for discontent? God damn. Okay. Take a look at me. Look at what you've done and see. That's all I hear are shrieks when the banshee speaks. Damn. That's not that's not the correct spelling for banshee. S H E E. Anyway, uh, never even blinked. So don't even think I'm not paying attention. You fucked up the lesson. Take a look at me. Look at what you've done and see that in my mind are shrieks when I hear you speak. Calling back to the banshee. You never really care. Don't act like it's fair. So, okay, he's got a bone to pick with somebody, right? I mean, first verse is like, can I just get a break? Like, just shut the fuck up. Everybody shut the fuck up. I have a lot of noise in my head. I have this, this confusion and, and static and chaos and all these things. Um, and I just need a break, right? And then basically uh, verse two, he's like, okay, I'm back. Sorry, I was late. Busy killing all your traits. Right, so whatever traits this person that he has the bone to pick with has, um, he's like, I'm I'm doing away with it one by one, like all your little idiosyncrasies, basically. Now I'm just a comeback stuck in a stutter. So he's not fully back, right? That's what I'm getting from that. He he feels like he's made a presence, but he's not he's not like fully confident in that because stuttering, like you know, basically like buffering. Oh, oh, I don't know if it's the speech impediment kind of stutter that he's talking about because he's trying to get out something and he can't quite get the point across. Knock, knock, open up, motherfucker. Is resentment a clean slate for the discontent? So unhappiness or sadness or da whatever um, is resentment, is total resentment, basically rejection, a clean slate for the unhappiness? Do I want to reject it? Right? Is that does that mean it goes away? Basically, is that what he's saying? Uh, is resentment the only thing helping me through the torment? Again, the noise, the fire in his head. Take a look at me. Look at what you've done and see that all I hear are shrieks when the banshee speaks. So, banshees, mythical creature, whenever they cry or they they speak or they yell or whatever, like the banshee cried, right? Uh, it can mess with your mind. It can basically render you paralyzed unconscious uh depending on what legend you follow um but he, all he hears are just shrieks so the banshee is talking to him trying to persuade him trying to mess with his mind but all he hears are shrieks right he's not really paying attention never even blinked so don't think i'm not paying attention because okay i guess that's kind of an oxymoron there what i did but i guess he's oh so maybe he's not distracted maybe he's so focused that when the banshee speaks, he is not listening, right? Never even blinks. So don't think I'm not paying attention. You fucked up the lesson. So, okay, that's all right. Let me backtrack what I said. Um, so basically, the banshee, this person who he's talking about, whenever they speak and try to persuade him or try to, you know, um, influence him, let's say, he is so focused on maybe his resentment for the discontent that he is... You know, these aren't the droids you're looking for, basically. Like, he's so focused, he's not even uh, worried about what this person is saying, right? You fucked up the... Like, you did... A, you mis you made a mistake, is what he's saying. You made the mistake. I'm not... Like, I'm, I'm here just minding my business. You made the mistake of trying to fuck with me. That's what he's saying. Take a look at me, look at what you've done, and see that in my mind are shrieks when I hear you speak. So that may be a callback to the first bit where he's like, the noise in my head is louder than what you're trying to do. So like, yeah, you, you, don't, you don't fucked up. You never really care. Don't act like it's fair. Say it, say it. I'm overreacting. Maybe, maybe. But who told me that? Oh, say it, say it. I'm overreacting. 
Maybe, maybe I'm over your bullshit. I was late, busy killing everything. Now I'm just a comeback stuck in a stutter. Fuck off. Think you fucking know me? You know nothing. Think you fucking own me for all the times you ruined me? Drop dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's a <laughs> quite the song ender there. Uh, just drop dead. So, okay. Maybe this is... Whether it's against one person or maybe it's against, you know, his critics. Maybe he faced criticism for trying to, you know, do what his dad did. Or maybe people were trying to compare him too much to what his dad did. I mean, hell, I even said he sounds just like his dad. Maybe that's something that would piss him off, right? Maybe that's not something he would take lightly. Because he's trying to carve his own path, right? He's trying to do his own thing. And... People saying, oh, you sound just like your dad. Oh, you sound just like Slipknot. Oh, you just... maybe that would piss him off, right? That would. That would piss him off. So, I mean, that's the case. I apologize for that. But it was just the like immediate thought of like, oh, shit, he sounds just like Corey. But yes, he is trying to carve his own path. He is trying to do his own thing. And maybe the haters and the critics and all of that were trying to, to drown him out with all this criticism and hate. That he's like, bitch, the voice is in my head. Like, the noise in my head, the shit that I'm dealing with on a personal level, are louder and more profound or more fucked up than you give yourself credit for. Don't think your words mean anything to me, right? Like, all of that, basically. So, he's like, all I hear are shrieks when the Banshee speaks. So, like, they're just screaming like Banshees in the night. And He's like, yeah, the voices in my head are louder. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do me and fuck off basically right so that's kind of uh, the, the the vibe I'm getting from this song but anyway that was vended dead to me um which pointed right all you critics and um all you naysayers are dead to me basically but that was awesome that was an awesome song I definitely want to check out more vended um so yeah let me know what songs I should react to next that's gonna do it for me though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this reaction. Subscribe again if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye bye.